In this video, I'm going to explain how you use present tense reflexive verbs in French. You've probably come across reflexive verbs before when you studied um, the topic of daily routine. And um, reflexive verbs basically are verbs which are actions um, which we either do to ourselves or we are reciprocating with somebody else. So on the screen, you've got some um, reflexive verbs to do with daily routine, such as se réveiller, to wake up, se lever, to get up, se laver, to wash oneself, se brosser les dents, to brush one's teeth, se peigner or se coiffer, to brush or comb your hair, se maquiller, to um, put on makeup, se raser, to shave, s'habiller, to get dressed, and uh, finally, prendre le petit déjeuner. Prendre le petit déjeuner is not a reflexive verb as it does not have a se in front of it. So reflexive verbs are either for actions which we do to ourselves, for example, getting ourselves up in the morning, washing ourselves, etc. But it can also be um, actions which are happening between two people. So for example, on the screen you can see je me dispute avec ma copine, which would translate as I argue with my friend. In French, this verb argue is a reflexive verb because it's happening between more than one person. That is why we have the extra me in the sentence. Je me dispute avec ma copine. Here are a couple more examples when we're talking about relationships with family members. Je m'entends bien avec ma mère. I get on well with my mother. Je ne m'entends pas bien avec mon frère. I don't get on well with my brother. Here, the verb s'entendre, to get on well with somebody, is reflexive because more than one person is involved. You probably, without realising it, um, learnt a reflexive verb when the, you first started learning French. Je m'appelle, for example, je m'appelle Claude, my name is, is actually a reflexive verb in French. And it literally translates as I call myself, the me being the myself. So actually, je m'appelle is an example of a reflexive verb. The good news with reflexive verbs is that you don't actually have um, brand new endings to learn. The vast majority of reflexive verbs are ER verbs. So if you already know how to conjugate ER verbs in the present tense, and you know the endings, for example, for je, we add an E, for to, ES, for il and l an E, for nous, an O and S, for vous an EZ, and for il and l an ENT, you're pretty much done. The only uh, slight difference with reflexive verbs is that we have this extra word in between. Um, so for example, je me lève, I get up. Tu te lève, you get up. Or literally, you get yourself up. Um, il se lève, elle se lève. Nous nous levons, we get ourselves up. Vous vous levez, you plural, get yourselves up and il se lève. So as long as you know your ER verb endings, and you can remember them with the silly sentence, elephants especially enjoy onshore breezes in Kent, if you know those, all you need to do is add in the extra tiny word in the middle, which won't um, often change. Have a look at these four sentences on the screen and see if you can fill in the missing pronoun in the middle. Um, once you're ready to see the answers, um, press play again and then the answers will appear on the screen. Here you can see the answers. Je me lave, which means I wash myself. Tu te dispute, which means you argue. Il se rase, he uh, shaves himself. And nous nous aimons, we love each other. So if you look at the actual um, reflexive verbs, the words at the very end of the sentences, um, all of those were ER verbs and they've conjugated just as you expect ER verbs to conjugate. For example, je, the verb ends with an E, tu, it ends with an ES, il, it ends with an E and nu, it ends with an ONS. And here you have the answers, vous vous lavez, which would translate as you plural, wash yourselves, elle se parle, which means they, and this is a feminine they, they speak to each other. And finally, je me fâche, which means I get angry with. Um, so the green was the missing reflexive part of the verb, and the pink that I've added is the correct endings that we needed on the, the verbs, bearing in mind that they are all ER verbs. For this final slide, you've got two things to try and add in. 
In the first gap, you need to put the correct missing pronoun. So, for example, me, te, se, nous, vous, or se. And for the um, final line, you need to think about what ending needs to go on the verb. As a reminder, these are ER verbs. So look at the um, pronoun at the start of the sentence to work out which endings need to be applied.